Hello and welcome everyone, Benjamin Carano here, and today I'm going to be talking about how a kill switch works on an engine, and how to make or install one if your engine does not have one. So, obviously my channel has a lot of motorized bike stuff, so I'll be explaining this on my motorized bicycle engine, which is a 120cc Honda GX 4-stroke engine. Now, this same concept will work with pretty much any engine, um, given the modern cars are all computer controlled, so this concept will not actually work on your newer vehicles, but for any small engines, lawnmowers, tractor mowers, motorized bikes, all of the above, this should be a very good tutorial and a very simple way to basically get a kill switch installed if you don't have one already. So basically you can see here the kill switch on my engine. In my case, this was built into the engine. And what a kill switch does is, is essentially um, an engine needs a spark to basically ignite the fuel on fire to push the piston down and make the engine go. And that spark is generated by the spark plug. Now the spark plug has a little wire that comes out of the back of it. In my case, this wire is encased in black right here. And that wire is what brings power to the spark plug to make the spark. That power comes from basically the magneto, which is somewhere actually probably right in here behind this red plate. Um, and it's basically magnets that spin around and pass through wires to generate electricity, like a generator. And every time that magnet spins around the wire really fast, it basically generates a little burst of power that makes the spark go at the right timing to push the piston down. So all the kill switch does is it just disconnects that connection between the, basically disconnects the power that's going from the magneto to the spark plug. Now a spark plug has two wires, very commonly has two wires. Um, I have seen very rare options of whatever, but today we're just gonna focus on the ones that have two wires. They'll have basically the positive and the negative, like many electrical uh, components will have. And the positive wire is the one that's from the power that the magnets are creating um, to go to the spark. And the other one is a ground. So that ground wire will basically be connected to, um, you know, either your frame or the big metal block of your engine. Um, that is all basically what the ground wire will be. So disrupting either one of those two connections will completely shut the engine off. So you can see here that I have, uh, for when I had the two stroke uh, engine on this bike, I don't actually have it hooked up now, but this was my kill switch. It was just a button that disrupted that connection for a split second when I pushed the button so the spark would no longer fire the engine uh, to keep it going. So you can see here that there's the two wires that come out and in this case that switch just disrupted both of the connections. So we have the positive wire that um, went to the spark plug and the negative one and uh, they basically are connected in a loop up here and this switch just disrupts that loop. Um, so basically yeah when you see an engine and you have the spark plug if you don't have your own kill switch but you have the two wires running out of the spark plug you know that one of them goes to magneto in here, and then one of them will be soldered or screwed into either the frame or the engine block or some, some big hunk of metal that can ground it. And all you have to do is just jerry-rig something that either, you know, could have a piece of little spring steel that you lift up or a little lever or something. Um, you can also just buy a switch at the hardware store and wire it all up. So any of that will work. Um, Maybe I'll try and find a little animation or something to put in the end of this video just to explain it a little further since none of this you can actually see. But it is quite simple. So really all the kill switch does is disrupt the connection. If you don't have one, you can always buy a switch. And in this case, it's basically disrupting the connection of that positive wire that probably runs underneath here and goes to the magneto. So when it's on, it just touches those two wires together when it's off, it basically disrupts that connection. So I hope this video was helpful. 
simple way of basically describing how the kill switch works in smaller engines. Um, I know this was a bit not not super in-depth detail, um, but I did receive a few questions about it, so hopefully this answers your questions. Um, and yeah, the question I received was pretty much, I have the same engine, uh, but a Predator, but it did not have a kill switch that came with it. So if it didn't, then hopefully you'll know how to jerry-rig something up. And if not, I'm sure there are a few other videos that will go really in depth about this kind of thing. But I figured I'd just give a little basic uh, tutorial just so that you might be able to have some further leads to search and figure out how to install the kill switch. With that said, hope you all enjoyed the video. And with that, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.